blessed to be here to serve our Lord in this manner. We wish to let you know we don't believe that we are here to be giving you something like you are lower than us or for you to feel anyone here is better than you. We are the same as you, the same souls encased in these bodies. When these bodies drop, the soul goes back to wherever it came from, which is that loving Lord. Whenever that time is, wherever that is. Sai Baba teaches very, very simply, love all, serve all, help ever, hurt never. That is why we are here. So what you feel here is pure love and unity. And all the people that you saw coming here, serving all the volunteers. Some of them would never even see you, but they came here and gave all their energy, all their love to be able to provide this to you. There may have been times in your life that you felt that the Lord has forgotten me. Look at what is happening because you will live in, literally, when you rain fall is mud, you have to walk you to reach anything or do anything. Right? And at that time, that is when your faith would have been tested. Why? How? Oh, we don't understand that. That part is not first to understand, it's first to know, to always have faith, always come to us as whatever is our lot. Lord, we accept it and we try our best to deal with it as we move forward. I just came here as an, as an observer and I got <laughs> recruited to build. <laughs> at first, uh, at first it would just seem like a construction project, but I think uh, a construction project, everyone thinks it's a job, but it, over here, it's, it's, the feeling is it wasn't a job. It was people working together to try to, you know, meet a goal to, you know, help people. So it was a bit chaotic, but uh, just the drive of people overcame the chaos and we somehow did this and my first time building a house. <laughs> So it was amazing. It was truly amazing. And I'm glad that we built it. Glad that we did this for you. I don't know if I'll have this again, but I'm so emotional right now. Just take the things you guys are doing. These people are truly blessed. Truly, truly blessed. And what I would like to say to the family, today you've got a house, but please make it your home. Fill it with love. And remember, Father, always for whoever you pray to, that this is a blessing to you. All right, Miss David, can you talk? Well, as you were saying, I was thinking for a little summer place. Because being honest, I grew up in a home, no meat, no alcohol. We have a lot of sugar temple in our hand. Yeah, that's what we grew up with. He gave us a cloth in the temple. Write what it is you want. Go to perform in your life. And my first writing was for him to walk my way to get a house, and secondly, to give me the health and strength to take care of my family until he ready for me to come home. And that's just what my blessing was. <laughs> and I was telling the uncle that my girl is my friend, and by the grace of God, I thanked my million because. It robbed me two trees of work, man, for my friend, for her trouble. And I thank all this so, so much. Thank you. Mommy, how? I thank God for this. The morning before I come, what it is you were telling me you were doing? You can remember? Yes, I can. You say you were standing up in front of the bar of 50 and asking him if he could help you. And lie down on the bed. And he really fall it. And I, I said, Sai, you see the condition we had. Help us now look how long we did this. Oh, mommy, for me to get a home. Just make sure that we get somewhere that we can stay. And by the next two days, he was a call. And I said, and I tell him what I had. And he says, he says, I answer your prayer. I have been saying for So thank God for all that we have. Uh, a home that we can call a home. That when you rain fall, that we won't have to get wet. Oh, we could stay when we are a cook, that we could stay inside and cook. Because any outside here, any rain, poly, rain, the galvanized liquid so much that while we cook them, we get them better and cook it. So my sheep come from work 
I hear but sometimes oh he well he can't do nothing. She is a put on she boots and remain outside and cook until we get something. Ma come and eat the get our food done cook come. And she will take out all of the food and she will give us and say, Well listen wrong and see how all they can eat and when we done well we go see until the rain eats up. But don't come out outside. But he just can't do nothing by himself. And most of the time we just have to help him out because he cannot work for long. And you could talk for yourself. <laughs> yes, for that. So thank you all again. Um, we just have a presentation to do on this subject. So we'll give a thank you very much. Thank you, the man of the house, the man here. Do you see the man take it? On behalf of the Inspired Organization, we we'll present you with this key and to bless you with this home. I hope that you continue filling this house with love and to your family with love. Mm -hmm. Thank you.